so here we are for the dessert. Yes, Still sir. The Swedish house, house yeah. of Sweden. House of Sweden, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah the house which, of Sweden. Yeah, yeah, with Chef Frida Johansson. Yes, sir. And so, what do we have? So our dessert is going to be something super traditional Swedish. It's going to be a rhubarb crumble. We okay, if you say it in English, it's fine. Rhubarb crumble. <laughs> and and in, in, in Swedish? It's rabarbapai. Oh, rabarbapai. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny to say, actually. Rabarbapai. I love okay. it. You actually can roll the R. A lot of people yeah. have a hard time rolling yeah, the R. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's perfect. Okay, great. So. So I started off, I got some milk and cream already that I just uh, boiled up with a vanilla pot. Okay. Scraped the uh, vanilla seeds out and put it in. Uh, the best way is to do it if it, you know, you, you boil it and then you actually add, uh, add it in there and you let it sit for about 15 minutes to get all okay. the vanilla flavors out there. So I went ahead and did that. And then we're going to add some sugar in there. You can add the sugar either now or you can add it already when you uh, cook it up. I use this little uh, wooden uh, thing because they said yeah. if you, when you make a, like a custard or a sauce, if you, lose, if you use wood to wood, it will like get it gray. So, okay. uh, yeah, and who, who knows some if some it's, you know, the actual, it actually is like that, but I try to stick with it. It's, that's what they say. So I'm just going to fish this one up now. It's been sitting in there. This is the vanilla pot. It's been sitting in there for about 15 minutes. And uh, just you see how you have all like the little seeds in here. Um, we got some... Uh, Potato starch. Potato starch. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit. You, it doesn't necessarily have to have it, but I like to add a little bit because there's no so way. So if, if you don't put it, you can put something different, or I, I'm putting the egg, so you can just do it with the egg. But this okay. will make it slightly thicker, and okay. it would also prevent it from splitting. You, you can put ma like maizena. Too, maizena or? works as well. Okay. Yeah, maizena okay. is, is is sort of like the same. Maybe easier to find. I don't know. It, absolutely, it's probably easier to find like the maizena or the coarse starch. Right. Um, I put just a little bit in there, and the reason why I put it is um, because it won't split. You know, it's really hard when you get the egg yolks in there, it's easy to right, split the right, sauce. Right. If you add that in there, of course, if you're going to boil it away, it's going to split anyway. But if you just do it on a, on a lower temperature, bring it up to... So here you put only the... The, the yolk, the yeah. Yolk, yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah, of, two of them. Yeah, actually, since you have the... the other product before, it doesn't make sense to put the white too. Right, yeah. So, put it in. And just make break sure it, it comes out you break it up a little bit and this is i mean you know it might be a little hard to do this you know with the wooden spoon but it will come together eventually you turn the heat back on you don't want to have it too high because there's a risk that you know the egg yolk will uh, coagulate and it will cook okay yeah right um there's different ways of doing this you can use a thermometer and uh, take it up you know i work with celsius still <laughs> even i'm in right. america i do I bring it up to like 82, 84 Celsius, right. um, and then you you let it cool. Actually, I'm going to uh, to add on the web page a PDF with a Celsius Fahrenheit conversion, so it's going to make it easier for you to. Uh, sometimes we get the recipe in Fahrenheit, sometimes in <laughs> Celsius, so you have to calculate and everything. With this, that's going to be easier. I'm very fortunate still to uh, to have my ovens in Celsius actually. Right. So sometimes when I use different things, I have to, you know, I, sh I should have that little, maybe a perfect. You put it up and then I'll just yeah, pop it up. Know. So how about you keep a little eye on this? We're okay. basically just going to bring it up when you see that it starts thickening, thickening okay. up. We're going to turn it down. Only one or two eyes? Uh, probably one and then you okay. keep one eye on me, you know, okay. so you know what, okay. what we got going on. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you want to be, you know, involved in what's next, right? Right. So the rhubarb crumble, basically take the rhubarb, take sugar, okay. and here we go with the potato starch again. And the potato, we just do because, you know, the rhubarb will lose a lot of liquid when you, when you put them in the oven, when you cook them. So we're just going to take that, sort of like mix it up nice and, nice and good. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We make a good seam. I can see this. Yeah. So basically, now we have, have done this. What we want to do now is we want to let that cool. Because when it's done and it's cooled down, right. we add whipped cream in there to get it nice, fluffy, and thick, you know? <sighs> yeah. So everything mixed together. Everything mixed together. You want to make sure that, you know, right. it is 
Otherwise, you're gonna get all yeah. the bottom. It's nice and mixed together. Do you want to go ahead and? Oh, okay, you're good. Maybe just a little once in a while you give it a little turn so it doesn't stick in the sides. Dry off my hand a little bit. Um, so you got the. Um, if you want to take that, we got a little. Uh, no, just leave that one there. You grab this one. Okay. And you put that in the. Uh, oh, you want me to do? Yeah. That? Okay, look at that. I'm good. Because I, you know, I try to think since we're not in a kitchen where we have all the water okay. and things. No, please. Okay. How about we reuse? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing next is we're gonna do the dough that goes on top of the crumble. Mm -hmm. um, there's the traditional way uh, of doing it. Uh, very simple. I got my own little twist on it. Uh, I will use butter. Okay, room temperature. And room temperature. There's different ways of doing it. You can also do it with melted butter. Okay. And do it, you know, there's three different ways of doing it. Melted butter, soft butter, or you do it with uh, uh, cold butter. And then you do it in a, in a Robocop oh. or a blender, so it sort of uh, right. cuts together. We will add the uh, oats. We would add flour. We're going to add some sugar. In my, uh, when I make my recipe, I love to add some cardamom. To okay. me, cardamom and rhubarb, you know, it, it just goes so hand in hand. Even with the rhubarb, you can also add strawberries into the tart. Right. Oh, it's, you know, the yeah, flavors. Strawberry and rhubarb, it's always. Yeah. Good. And if I would make it even, if I would make it even more Swedish, I would add a splash of elderflower in there. Okay. It likes a little elderflower with the rhubarb. Uh, probably not with this <laughs> dish. <laughs> and the secret is um, hazelnuts. Okay. I use toasted hazelnuts. So I put them in. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just feel like rhubarb right now is, is just so, it's so right season. It's, it's just, you know, summertime. Yeah, you started that, so I'd let you do it, but I love to do that. Oh, you want to? No. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> no, but I, I like to, uh, and, and then you have the dough when it's ready and it's, it's Yeah, I'm actually going to use both my hands, but it's going to be a problem it's now, a right? So but it's good that I have here, you here now, because usually I'm by myself, okay. you know? Yeah, I it don't can have anybody. I you cannot work without me. So, you know, uh, Perfect. Look at that, and that smell. Right. It smells good. Yeah, yeah. That's really, really great. Yeah. So what we will do now, you know, we went ahead and we acted like we were some little TV chefs. You know, we yeah, yeah. we did how they do it on TV. So actually bake the crumble already. Yeah, so yeah, we I just know. we just prepare one now, and it's then it's gonna be so fast. I know, right? <laughs> Let's see when it comes together. It's gonna be like a little. You can, you know, if you if you don't want to get all messy and, you know, you can always put it in a machine. Yeah, but it's yeah. Let's do it the traditional way. Yeah, you know. and plus we're here. We don't have the a whole cooking, kitchen to work with. The cooking was here before the machine, so we couldn't have, have said it better myself. Could it's not it. have said it better myself. Yeah. So uh, we have the rhubarb with the you know the sugar it's important to put some sugar in there because it's very tart right so if we don't have that sugar it's going to be it, it, you it, see it. that's when it's fun now it looks like right everything is if smooth. you would do this like with the, uh, with the ma machine you don't have the feeling yeah and if also when you do it with if you would do it in the robocop it will be more like crumbled up but now my hands are like a little bit warm you know so it sort of yeah. adds to the so we just make sure that it's mixed up okay we go ahead and Spread this on top. Oh, so you're gonna cover? How about you just do that? No. No? Yeah. You don't want to get dirty? I thought, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to make a mistake like I did with with the the, uh, the waffle. No. You know. There's no. I, I, I'm still taking care of that. Yes, well, okay. I don't even know if it's burning. But no, it's it's fine. The, so that's the way we will do it, and we will we would let that sit now and just continue soaking up all the flavors. Okay. And then once it's cooled down, we will put it in the fridge and we would make it cold. And then once it's cold, we would add whipped cream in there and it will make it really fluffy and nice, you know? Mm. So I, I love desserts. I work, I work a lot with desserts. I like to, you know, as we talked about earlier, I like to work with the eye. It's really important. Right, so I like right. to do a lot of uh, small things. You need to have, you know, on every dessert, you need to have something that's soft, something that's chewy, something that's a little bit crunchy. You have to have a little bit of everything. This one is sort of, you get the rhubarb, the rhubarb will be, you know, they will still have a little crunch left, but then you have the crumble on top that would, with the nuts, give that little extra, 
texture and then with the sauce to it. Right. You always, <coughs> sorry, you always do this in a plate like this or you can do like individual portions? Oh yeah, you can absolutely do individual. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to do it this way for the presentation because when you put like if I'm gonna add the vanilla sauce on, uh, you, if you do the individual cups, it won't right. look as nice. So that's why I chose okay. to do it this way. So I tried to clean off and look like I'm, you know, presentable a little bit. Right. See? How, what do you think? Looks uh, good? It looks good. Yeah, even. So I will put it in the oven. Yeah. And I take it when it's ready, right? Exactly. You tell me when. No, you put it in the oven right now. Okay. So I take it, I put it in the oven, it's right yeah. under me. Yeah. And, and uh, and uh, and I think it's ready. Oh, look at that! Wow, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's even warm. It's, oh, it's hot. You're like a superstar. Yeah, you see. It's you and it's Superman. You got you got the heat. I you got know? the heat power. <laughs> okay, so now I love we have it. the oh, look at this. Yeah, look at so that. So how long it stays like, in the oven? Uh, it's uh, about uh, it's about 400, depending on what kind of oven you have. You know, you have Celsius? to like. Still? No, actually, f I'm I'm sitting, nah, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm trying to adjust to okay. my. You know, on, on, on the recipe you will have or Celsius or Fahrenheit yeah. or both. Yeah, and it's two it's 225 in Celsius if you have a regular oven. Okay. If it's uh, if you have a convection, I would like a convection. I would put maybe 190 sort of. You have to okay. keep an eye right, about 15, right. 20 minutes. And you prefer to work with the convention or? Oh, I love, yeah, I mean, you know. It's faster? It, it, it's faster and that's what I have in my kitchen when I work. Okay. I, have, okay. I have two of those. Um, how about the sauce? You made that also, right? Didn't you like, didn't you add the cream in earlier and we made that? Yes, I did. You did? I forgot where I put it, but <laughs> I did. I, so I, thi I think, I think, I okay. think we got it. Let me it see, is. let me see. Oh, no, here it is. Look. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> see? Taking this one here. Okay, so that's already with the whipped cream. Oh, now you look can show them. Look at that. Look at so basically, so all the all, all the races so that you have that, you know, you have the uh, the little custard that we made or this right. vanilla sauce, and what you do is you just take that and then you uh, you add that into the uh, you add the whipped cream in there and then you get this light, fluffy, nice, creamy texture that's gonna go just so well with the tart. Right. So. This is, you know, I, I work a lot, as we said with the eye earlier, this dish is just the way it is. It's supposed to be simple, you know, right. so it's supposed to just, we're out for the flavors here. Of course, it, you know, it's always nicer if it looks really cute as well, but so this is what we do. We got that, put a little cream on my spoon. We didn't want that. We're just going to go ahead and, you know, take a nice little, let's cool down a little bit. You know, you can serve this also warm if you, if you want to, it's up to yourself how you want to, how you want to do it. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So simple, but yet so tasty. It looks like you don't want to touch it. Right? But I will. <laughs> I got a, just a couple of extra nuts. I like to just add a little bit on here. You know, it looks a little cute like that. And then, you know, especially if I would serve this, I like to, if I have nuts and stuff, and I like to show. Because then people, if people are allergic, you know, when I have my big right, events, right. they can see straight away that, wow, okay, that's not something that I would want to, you know, eat. Yeah, I have that's something you have to care of all the time, no? For the different Absolutely. Diet yeah. People yeah, you got to be careful, you know, especially nuts is, you know, you don't want to take somebody's life just, just yeah, like that. Those flowers are really, really cool. Yeah. Really cool. There's some, uh, they're called marigold. So they have sort of like a little citrusy flavor. So that will go really nice with the dish as okay. well. I have some micro green or like some micro mint here. We'll see if they still, they're a little, getting a little tired. It's a little warm in here. <laughs> but you know, you can always give them a little, some little love and then they will. Yeah, it's a lot of patience. <laughs> right? To, uh, to cook and uh, yeah, attention to details. Yeah, and everybody has their own way of doing it. I just. Right. For me, I've I've got known here in DC for working. But when when yeah when you you have uh, twelve people or twenty people at the table, you have to prepare all this. And yeah. You work alone. For for the most part, I work alone. Yeah, I, I'm the only one that's hired as a chef or the ambassador. Okay. When I have bigger events, we might have you know help out uh, okay. the chefs throughout the embassies. But yeah, it, it's me in the kitchen. So yeah, this will be our little dish. Who mm. crumble? You know. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, so uh, now what we can do is uh, we take just two seconds, we clear up and mm -hmm. we, we try everything. Okay, perfect. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, so now the fun.
we're going to try everything. But first, thank you very much for having us today. Absolutely. And thank you for having me. us all that. I have to practice a little bit and try <laughs> at home. And uh, thank you very much for listening. This was Diplomatic Connection, Cooking with an Accent. Don't forget that you can get all the recipes online. And you can see at the bottom of the video of the screen, you can see the address of the website, www.diplomaticconnection.com. You can also follow on Facebook. And see you next time. Now, we're going to try. So, <laughs> we were working hard. Okay. So now we do like this. Okay, so we just, okay. Uh -oh, there we go. Like that. I need to see your face now. <laughs>